Good day, I'm Renzo Bernardo Picio. For today, I will present to you our research entitled Majestic Road to the Bright Future, a lived experience of STEM students from Esperanza, a Gusan del Sur who schooled in Bayuga National Comprehensive High School. Due to the proximity to their homes, some students choose to walk to school. These students don't stress out too much about getting to school because they can do it quickly and easily. They don't have far to travel. Living far from school can result in challenges and inconvenience related to long-distance travel, particularly when there is a time-sensitive commitment involved. There is an evidence to suggest that commuter students have poor outcomes for the higher education and will be unsatisfied with their academic experiences compared to residential students. Despite the expense of commuting, it may be less expensive to live at home and commuters can remain in local employment, according to Maguire and Morris 2018. It aims to answer the following questions. What is the respondent's profile in terms of gender, address, walking time, and class schedule? Why do participants choose to enroll in a school far from their home? How do the participants manage to travel a lengthy time every day? How do the participants overcome the hindrance that occur when traveling to school? How does the participants help respond to the harsh environment while traveling? The following will be beneficiaries of this study. Student, for students, this journey and challenges will be used to reflect on their personal growth throughout the field of education. For parents, their involvement, support, and understanding can help their child to sell the challenges and support of their education. For teachers, the teachers will demonstrate how study findings can directly inform and improve the education experiences and the outcomes. For future researchers, the study will be basis of reference of the researcher to conduct based on the data from the data gathered. The study will focus on the lived experience of STEM students from Esperanza Agusan del Sur who schooled in Bayuga National Comprehensive High School. Data will be collected through questionnaires. According to Data Horizon, 2020, students who board on a weekly basis experience difficulties with tra transportation costs, food avail availability, long commutes, and insufficient study time. According to the study, Parents should take responsibility for their children's education by providing them with the necessary school supplies, including payment for the school fees and housing, as well as cooperating partners to address the accommodation challenges. This study employs a qualitative approach using phenomenological research as a, and a thematic design to evaluate students' perception of their lived experiences. In thematic design, the researcher aims to address the challenges and experiences of those students who live far away from school. Survey questionnaires will be the instrument of the research we conduct, which consists of 10 items of questions that will be asked when participants participate in this research. This question will be an open-ended question. In order to recruit a student to participate in our research, we will first write a letter and send it to each advisor in each section that will have participants. The letter will be signed by the senior high school co coordinator, the researcher will request permission for the section advisory of the participants to perform a survey questionnaire in order to gather information and data. Thematic analysis will be employed to examine the data involving transcriptions, translation, coding, and teaming techniques that enable researchers to uncover students' lived experiences. Can you describe your daily routine considering the time spent commuting and to and from school, the statement primarily addresses how much time is spent traveling to and for, from school. It starts out by highlighting how subjective time is and how the 30 to 40 minute drive from home to school is a result of the distance. The following are some direct quotations from the participants. It is time consuming. It is, takes more than 30 to 40 minutes to get to BNCHS from my hometown due to the distance. When I am about to travel away to go to school, usually takes about 25 to 30 minutes for me to arrive at my school. Therefore, living far from school presents both benefits and disadvantages for students. Their participation in school activities and relationship with peers may suffer as a result of the physical separation due to the feelings of isolation. In conclusion, children who attend school remotely must navigate social and academic obstacles, which which eventually helps them become more resilient and adaptive people. If our students live far away from school, from the school, thinks about the setting up a support system from them, such as 
online study group or study materials so they may stay connected to their friends and have access to educational resources. In addition, the government should prioritize transportation for remote students, combining virtual support and transportation subsides, create a more inclusive educational experience for everyone. And that's all. Thank you.